chilly town, it's a frozen village. Every day, colder than the one before. Chilly town, full of chilly people. Waking up to sing. Go to Disney! Go to Disney! Go to Disney! Go to Disney? Okay. Oh, isn't this amazing? Hey! Watch where you're going, punk! I'm trying to rope drop Space Mountain here! Hello, and good day everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of Orlando Bound 2022. Through this series, I will be sharing all of the things that Mike and I got to experience at Walt Disney World during our trip this past February. This was a very special trip for us because, well, it was our first time experiencing Disney together. On top of that, I haven't been to Disney since I started this channel with the original Orlando Bound back in 2017. And this is Michael's first visit in over 10 years. It was a big homecoming for both of us, and there were so many new things for us to experience. In today's episode, we'll be jumping right into our first night on property as we explore Disney Springs and enjoy our first Disney dinner at the Boathouse. It looks like we're all ready for takeoff, so without any further ado, let the Disney adventures begin. Okay, I have to be honest. Our trip didn't exactly have a magical beginning. On top of regular travel stress, we left home in the middle of a blizzard. It was not a fun drive. And let's just say we got a good look at the underside of some cars on our way to the airport. Yeah, we did make it to the airport on time, but it didn't really matter anyways because what was supposed to be a 10-15 flight didn't actually leave until 3 o'clock in the afternoon. On top of that, Disney had just lifted their mask mandate about a week before our trip. Previously, Disney required everyone to wear a mask whenever you were indoors. And Mike and I felt really good about that. But during our trip, masks were only required on transportation. Anywhere else, it was a sea of naked faces. Coming from Ontario, where masks are still required pretty much everywhere, it was a big culture shock. On top of that, Mike and I had to be extra careful because we had to have a negative PCR test at the end of the week in order to come back home. And oh, we also have some immunocompromised family members back home that we have to be mindful of. Honestly, I don't think it was fair of Disney to lift the mandates like that with so little warning. I don't know if we would have postponed our trip if we had more notice, but with the announcement being so close to our trip, we didn't even have the opportunity to consider it. Anyways, I just wanted to get that out there and if we seem a little off in these vlogs, especially in these first few days as we're getting used to everything, that's why. But hey, we got through it and we still had an amazing time. As soon as we were all checked in at All Star Movies, we hopped on a bus and went to Disney Springs. Neither of us had ever been to the Springs before, so we were very excited to grab some Starbies and check out all of the shops before dinner. Alright, we are heading into our first shop, the World of Disney. Look at this little Alice in Wonderland teacup. Like, it's got soil and plants and stuff. It's so cute! So cute! So it looks like we have all the uh, 50th anniversary stuff over here. Wow! It's beautiful! Oh my goodness! Wait, this actually make like Mickey shaped soaps? I love that! Oh my goodness! Here's the back side of that big castle model. It is gorgeous. Some little bags here too. Very cute. How much do you think it would cost? 
Um, more than we can afford. <laughs> oh my goodness, they have Disney themed board games. They have Candyland over here. They have a Jungle Cruise version of Hungry Hungry Hippos and Friends. And then they have a Disney version of Life. We just stepped into the uh, spice and tea shop. And it smells amazing. It smells so good. <laughs> and it's quiet. It's which is so nice. quiet, which is nice. Quality. Oh my goodness. Oh, that smells so good. What does this smell like? Yum. <laughs> Christmas store? Yeah. <laughs> We're deciding between going to this one or the candy store first, both, but both. both. We're gonna do both, but oh my goodness. Hello. <laughs> it's so festive in here. Oh my goodness, ornaments. <laughs> Those are nice. Yeah. So scary to <laughs> yeah. like it. Michael said this one, the uh, Tree of Life, looks like a very hearty broccoli. Oh, we got little spaceship first ones too. Love this. I mean, no doubt you would. But I'm afraid to, to take it on the plane. They have a Tower of Terror ornament and a Haunted Mansion ornament. And those are two of my favorite rides as ornaments. But anyways, what I was going to show is this Animal Kingdom 50th anniversary ornament. Grogu! We love him. It's me. What do you mean it's me? Oh my goodness. I love the Little Mermaid, but I'm not sure how I feel about this one. And we found more candles. There's pineapple whip candles. <laughs> I need one? Yeah. That's cute. I do love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh my goodness, of our adventures. Yeah. With Perku. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Lots of other little like scrapbook things here too. I don't even know what store we're in, but <laughs> this is some cool stuff. I wonder if I can get the volcano to go. Nope, is it gonna go? Is it gonna go? Is it gonna explode? Explode. Okay, next stop is Goofy's Candy Co. We love a good candy store. I love candy. Michael, this store is tons of fun. It says right there on the sign, so it must be true. Ooh, it says jelly beans. Michael, how is it that there's so much candy in here, and yet the sweetest thing you. in the store is you? No, it's you. I beat you to it. Goodness gracious. I promised one of my coworkers I'd get her one. Mm. You better deliver on that promise. away from our reservation at the boathouse. Yum. <laughs> We're so hungry. We haven't eaten since what, like 9 o'clock this morning? 10 o'clock yeah. this morning. So we've been trying to kill time and just look around all the stores here, which is fun, but honestly, we're a little overwhelmed. Just a, just a smidge. There's so many people here. <laughs> it's so busy. Yeah, uh, and we're used to everything being locked down. Yeah, like it's a big culture shock coming from Canada to here, especially like, you know, like no one's wearing masks or anything. I mean, we're going to be wearing masks for the whole week just because we want to be extra safe and, you know, we can't afford to uh, fail our COVID tests and get stuck here. But yeah, it's just been an overwhelming day, especially with travel and our flights delayed. That would be kind of magical at the same time. Like, that would be yeah. the universe literally saying, you need a break, honey. But so, I just can't, I just can't. We can't afford it. No, we can't afford it. Yeah, we're slowly getting into the vacation spirit. We're just, we're just hungry. <laughs> hungry, overwhelmed. 
hangry. Hangry. Yeah, that's not good. We'll catch up with you in the boathouse. See you soon. All right. <laughs> We're here at our first dinner of our trip. First and I think only real dinner. Yeah, yeah. No, we didn't think a lot of actual like table service reservations. But where are we, Michael? We are at the boathouse. Indeed we are. It's so romantic and kind of bougie in here, but yeah. We're excited. Right off the bat, they give you a platter of bread. <laughs> Dig in. We, we deserve it. We deserve it. How's the bread, Michael? <laughs> so the bread is glazed in honey, and it has this really sweet flavor. It is so good. Very yummy. Okay, our meal has arrived. To celebrate the first night of our first Disney trip together, Mike and I decided to splurge and order the main lobster tail Oscar which came with an eight ounce lobster tail, asparagus, jumbo lump crab, baronet sauce, and parsley potatoes. How was that, Michael? It was so yummy. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it was definitely worth it. So good. Although, it was a bit of a struggle to eat. Uh, I hope that lobster is always a challenge, but it was worth it. And that does it for our first night at Walt Disney World. Despite our challenges and stress, we had a great start to our vacation. Coming up, Mike and I begin our time in the parks with Animal Kingdom, where we explored the African savannas on Kilimanjaro safaris, traveled to the late Cretaceous on Dinosaur, and embark on our first expedition to Pandora's Valley of Morara. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of this adventure, plus all of my other theme park travel and local adventures, you might want to consider becoming a subscriber. I also recently launched Adventure Outpost, a merch shop selling designs inspired by my adventures. Of course, the support you guys give me just by being here is already incredible. And with that, I'll see you on Thursday for episode 2 of Orlando Bound 2022. Until then, have a magical week. Explode now. It's not going to explode.